Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It looks like the drone world is about to get a massive shakeup, and the battle for the skies is heating up faster than ever. The big news? DJI's highly anticipated Aveta 360 has reportedly just secured FCC approval in the United States. Now, for those who don't follow the nitty-gritty of product launches, getting that stamp of approval from the Federal Communications Commission is a huge deal. It's the final green light a company needs to legally sell a device in the U.S. market. This news, which we believe came through in mid to late November, is especially significant given the current climate. With all the talk and uncertainty surrounding potential U.S. sales restrictions on DJI products, seeing the Aveta 360 clear, this hurdle is a major relief for pilots and a bold move from DJI. It shows. They're still pushing forward, full steam ahead in one of the biggest drone markets in the world. But this story isn't just about regulatory approvals. Think about it, the race is on. Who will be the first to officially hit the shelves and get into the hands of creators? Insta360 is clearly betting on speed, hoping to capture that initial market buzz and momentum before the Avita 360 can even get off the ground. This head-to-head -head competition is exactly what we love to see. It pushes innovation, forces companies to bring their agam, and ultimately, it's the consumer it's s who wins with better products and more choices. So, what exactly is the DJI Aveta 360 bringing to the table that has everyone so excited? This drone isn't just another incremental update. It's poised to be a true hybrid, a fusion of two incredible technologies. On one hand, you have the characteristics of a Stinwoop. These are the ducted FPV drones known for their safety, stability, and ability to get those buttery smooth cinematic shots up close and personal. They're the go-to for many professional videographers for capturing dynamic indoor or complex sequences. On the other hand, you have the magic of a 360-degree camera. Traditionally, if you wanted that immersive reframe in post capability, you had to strap a third-party camera like an Insta360 onto your drone. This often meant compromising on weight, balance, flight time, and workflow. The Abutta 360 aims to eliminate that compromise entirely. It's expected to integrate a high-quality 360-degree camera directly into the drone's body. This is the holy grail for many creators. It means you no longer have to choose between the thrilling first-person view of FPV flight and the creative freedom of 360-degree recording. You get both in one seamless package. Imagine flying through a tight gap, focusing purely on your flight path, all while knowing you're capturing everything around you. Later, in the edit, you can choose any angle you want. You can pan, tilt, zoom, and create incredible camera moves that would have been impossible to plan in real time. This opens up a whole new world of creative possibilities. The battle between the Avada 360 and the Insta360, Anti-Gravity A1 will define the next era of aerial videography. Will DJI's established ecosystem and reputation for quality win out? Or will Insta360's aggressive marketing and first-to-market strategy steal the show? It's a classic David vs. Goliath story, except both are giants in their own right. One thing is for sure, December is going to be an incredibly exciting month for the drone community. We'll be watching every development, every leak, and every review to see how this epic showdown unfolds. What are your thoughts on this? Are you Team DJI or Team Insta360? Which drone are you more excited about and why? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you want to stay on top of all the latest news in this drone war, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.